so hi friends welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to install additional domain control on Windows Server 2016 so this is the third video of Windows Server 2016 series uh, a series of tutorials so let's have some idea about my demo environment and my demo environment previously on first and second video I have installed one domain controller which is Win win2k16 dc01 and one dns server which is win2k16 dns01 you can verify from here this is the uh, this is the uh, active directory server which is win2k16 dc01 uh, the ip address which is configured you can verify uh, 192.168.1.254 and we have installed active directory and dns role on the second machine we have installed DNS role only and this machine is uh, joined to our domain and win2k16 DNS01 is the machine name and the next we have a one machine with the name of win2k16 DC01 which is fully installed just we have installed the first machine and renamed this machine no roles and no feature is installed on this machine yet so we are going to install additional domain control on this machine which is win2k16 tc01 so let's do a step by step task to install additional domain control so from here I am going to let's modify it let's it's not a child domain control we are going to install additional domain control on the child domain control I am going to do that lab in next video so we are good to go additional domain control so I'm going on my server you can verify the first first step is configure IP address and join machine in domain so I'm going on my machine win2k16 dc02 I'm going to assign my IP address which is given in my PPT slide 192.168.1.252 I'm going on machine properties I'm going to disable IPv6 check IPv4 going to configure IP address 192.168.1.252 my default gateway and my DNS name this is going to hold the active directory role so and DNS port so I'm going to assign preferred DNS the machine itself and my second domain controller IP address and my DNS server IP address which is 253 so it's good to go I think and now I'm going to to put this machine in domain so my domain name vector info soul dot local going to click on OK so just wait for a few seconds OK vector info show dot local spelling mistake administrator my password for administrator account and here we are welcome to vector info soul dot local domain and for now I'm going to restart this machine so you can verify if you go to active directory users and computers you can verify machine is join to domain so for now I am going to move this machine to my India OU under the servers you can verify my both server DNS server and and, and DC02 is here and under the domain control you can verify we have till now only one domain control which we are on uh, win2k16 DC01 so once the once the DC02 is promoted as a domain control, additional domain control will be moved from here to domain control OU. So, just waiting to boot the boot and login screen for the Win2K16 DC02, our additional domain control. So, the server is rebooted, and I'm going to log in with my domain user account, which is 
administrator so I'm typing my domain name slash my administrator account which is my domain administrator account so it's applying user settings wait till the server manager comes up so server manager is opening so the machine is under the domain and next task is install ADDS role from server manager so I am going to install the ADDS so you can verify machine is under the domain and I'm going to click on manage add role and features and next role based installation we have selected our server next and I'm going to select Active Directory Domain Services and add feature is required for Active Directory Domain Services next leave the default for features next and click on install so it will take one or two minutes to install the binaries for the Windows Server 2016 for Active Directory roles and its dependent features so you can see installation is started on our server just waiting to get finished this installation so we can promote this server as a domain controller so that is our next task promote server as additional domain controller so the installation is success configuration required so we are good to go to promote this server as a domain controller I am going to click on it and here is the option add domain control in existing domain we are going to select the first one and click next it will take our credential and everything from here it will verify some domain control option as well as here so this is the site name I have not renamed my site name so it's okay and going to put my register mode password on the DNS it's okay I'm going to click next and from here um, we have only one domain control either we can select any domain control or one domain control so I'm going to select my domain control click next next and here is the everything which we have selected yet for the additional domain control installation we are good to go click next and it's checking the pre-request check if everything Pass successfully, then we are good to go to install Active Directory Domain Controller role on this machine. So all pre-request checks pass successfully. We are good to go to install. I am going to click on install. So you can verify checking domain updates status. Everything. It will take one or two minutes to get the installation finished. Once the installation finished, the machine is rebooted automatically to finish the promoting of DNS uh, D, uh, Active Directory and DNS server on this machine so you can verify waiting for DNS installation to get finished replicating schema directory partitions replicating objects replicating critical domain informations
as uh, you can see we are about to sign out so the machine is going to reboot and the server is rebooted So just wait to for the login screen. <coughs> okay. So applying computer settings. Okay, so I am going to log in on Win 2K16 DC02 and from here you can verify on our main domain control DC01 the machine is promoted as domain control so the machine is moved from server from servers to domain control so for now we have two domain control both are global catalog and the site for on which both both domain control is based is default first site name so I am going to log in on my second domain control which is Win2K16 DC02 it's applying computer settings so at the final step we have to verify additional domain control so I am just going to log in and open the users and computers if you want to go from here also you can uh, change the domain control change from the right button right click on domain name and change domain control so I'm going to change my domain control from here it will take a few seconds to replicate so I'm going to change my domain control it's not redirecting yet so it will take few few minutes to get the replication done so if you go to Active Directory Site and Services under the sites under the default first site name servers you can verify our both server is the steady here and you can verify there was no replication happens yet in both server so it will take few seconds to get replicate the data from additional domain control to main domain control uh, on on our dc02 you can verify active active and dns role installed successfully everything working seems well i'm going to launch active directory users and computers from dc02 you can verify it's connected to our domain Victor Infoso and you can verify we have two domain controls on our additional domain control as well as and the object is also replicated so just wait for a few seconds it will replicate everything to both servers you can verify from so now you can verify the setting uh, the replication channel has been est established between two both servers and it will take few more seconds to replicate here also so if I go here and right click replicate now you can verify active directory service has been replicated the connections so everything working fine for now So just wait for a few seconds to get the replication connection between from second server as well as and here we are you can verify if now we have connection between both servers from and I'm going to replicate finally this is 02 the active directory replication is 
is done successfully so hope you guys will have enjoyed my video and thanks for watching keep uh, please subscribe me for more videos and keep watching if you have any question any query you can mail me on my given mail IDs and thanks once again bye bye see you soon in my next video